Welcome back everyone, I'm Halo Goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about the person that is falling in love with you, who they are, their personality, random details about this person and about your connection and what are their intentions towards you and also um, what's going on between you two. So any details that pop up about this person are going to be in this video. So we have got two options this time. The very first option is the magician on the left. And then we have the priestess, which is the second option on the right. This is the high priestess card. Um, so choose whichever option is calling out to you the most. And um, the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual. And with that being said, let's move on to the first option option the magician okay so if you've chosen the option number one these are all of the cards that i got for you i have princess of swords then we have seven of discs queen of discs then we have seven of cups five of cups the teacher which is the hierophant then we have the emperor and the ten of swords at last so those are all of the cards that i got for you and at the bottom of the deck we have nine of cups so the topic of today's reading is going to be all about who is the person that's falling in love with you the person that is drowning in their feelings for you um so yeah let's see what has triggered this person's feelings and who this person is and also what's on their mind and what are their intentions when it comes to you so let's dive into it i can see an egg so maybe this person likes to eat eggs or like you do something about an egg yes okay i'm hearing someone has like past trauma maybe it's due to um someone's okay i'm hearing like it's almost like this maybe this person had a relationship in the past which was really toxic or like just not good for them you know um the person was just not good so it's almost like this person's always carrying that fear or it could be you that's what i'm sensing okay i'm hearing the number nine has quite a lot of significance in this pile I'm hearing someone is also quite interested in um, things which are unusual, or like unconventional concepts, such as, um, I don't know, stuff that is kind of in conjunction with spirituality and stuff like that. You know, so somebody's probably interested in that. Um, somebody could also be interested in stuff like um, things that, that are just kind of really mysterious you know in a way such as ghosts or like um psychic awareness tarot cards esoteric things you know um also for some of you it could not it does not have to be related to spirituality but it is something which is a bit unusual for instance somebody's interested in space and like galaxies and like um black hole and stuff like that. that's kind of what i got you know right away definitely i'm hearing the word recovery someone has either recovered from something or is recovering from some oh yeah i believe this could have something to do with the past trauma that i was talking about that could be um coming up again yes this could be a friend for a lot of you this is a friend this is somebody who oh okay they're like if i have to be honest like this feels like there is quite distinct boundaries when it comes to this connection this person cannot just confess you know it's not that easy for you guys like it's not that they make up their mind and they can just confess it's it's almost like the people who are involved in this connection if someone were to tell you if someone like i don't know maybe um 
a friend or like a psychic even a tarot reader that this person has made up their mind and they're gonna come and it's almost like i'm hearing from a guide it's not that easy for them it's not that easy for things to proceed in this connection it's a bit complicated and it is this time it's real i'm hearing and i'm also hearing for some of you you somebody does not see their worth okay i'm going to be really um okay they're being specific again there is someone in this pile i feel like they are directing this message to you but take it how it resonates um i can also see a sheep so something about a sheep um never mind so there's somebody in this pile who's who does not see who does not realize how amazing they are like everything about you let's let's consider for a second that it's about you so you don't realize how much of a prize you are you don't realize how like you have no clue how this person feels for you and it's almost like this person feels something inexplicable for you and let me try to describe what this is wait i mean i haven't even gotten to the like i'm literally getting such heavy messages already so this is this is like a even if this person has expressed or not expressed or like whatever the case is this one is literally they're in love there is no two things about it this this is not attraction this is not obsession this this is literal love i feel this person wants to spill things out of their mouth i'm hearing they want to they would love to but they cannot because you're dynamic it's so different they cannot do that maybe in a dream they can <laughs> that's why i'm hearing and someone's name could start with v i'm also hearing something about j t and i can see a glass of champagne for some of you okay and let me see what else is here I'm not too sure what's going to happen in the future with this connection because we're not looking at the future we're looking at what's happening right now we might see the future even you know it depends on my guides what they wish to tell me but what i'm sensing right now is whatever happens in the future is i don't know it's it's going to depend on fate and destiny and all of that but one thing i can say is this person is very much consumed by you even if you guys are not like even if you're not meeting up with this person or like there is no literal um how do i say it? like you guys are not actively talking to each other whatever the case is this person is very much consumed by you you should know that it's almost like this 90% of the time during the day you are on this person's mind you are always on their mind sometimes maybe they're really distracted 10% of the time but it's so crazy okay i'm also hearing hermit we don't have the hermit we don't but the hermit is the virgo okay somebody could have a strong virgo somewhere prominently placed and yeah now that i'm thinking yeah Number nine is also associated with Virgo. Oh, sorry, Hermit. Somebody could be a Virgo. Somebody could also be someone who is. It's like you. You're the person, or you are that this person wants. Like right now, if they have you, they want nothing else. That's. That's why I see. Let me see if there's something else. someone's hair it's not it's not um like not brushed through properly i don't know why they're bringing it up but it's almost like i'm hearing unruly hair for some of you maybe someone's hair is quite hard to manage 
Yeah. I'm hearing for some of you, okay? For some of you, you will meet up with this person and you will cross paths with this person. Now, again, this is for those of you who are not in contact with this person. There is, like, the contact has been broken due to some reason. For those of you, you are going to cross paths with this person again. And that's going to be really unexpected. There's going to be really... And this person is going to... I'm hearing they're going to lose their breath for a second and they're going to be like they're going to be starstruck yes because it's you but because they didn't expect to see you and neither did you but the astonishment on this person's face is not being revealed to me but I can sense it even if even though this person is like their face is being hidden I can sense it already I'm hearing Capricorn. You can meet this person during the Capricorn season. That would be around December. Yeah. I'm also sensing there's something about... I can... I'm hearing coffee. Something about that. Also, someone's name is quite common. Like, either yours or this person's. It could be a first name or last name, but there's something... I think it's the first name. That's what I got. It's really common, you know? Yeah, it's almost like, um, I'm hearing someone has long teeth. Something about teeth. Yeah, definitely. Someone's name could start with K or C. I'm hearing there's always been a third person or there is a third person currently between you two. Or like the reason why you both split up is because of this third person. You don't even know the truth. You don't know the truth. The truth was presented to you. Okay, some some things or like some facts were presented to you in a really harsh way. That's for very few of you. And you don't know the real truth of this person. You don't know like how this person is it's almost like i don't know why they're hiding this person's face or this person is probably hiding themselves their real true self because i cannot see the face of this person i can see their body but i cannot and that's so weird and it's almost like i see smoke and the smoke is hiding this person's face like a lot of smoke i don't know why is that i mean i know i know why that is the case i i see it Yes, it's almost like you are not, whatever you know about this person is only an aspect of them. It's only, it's not really the truth. It's not the entire truth. Yes. I'm again being drawn to the third person. They're bringing my attention back to the third person between you two guys. Like, there is this one person who... Who's their friend and your friend too. Something of that kind, but there's someone. This seems to be like a feminine energy, if I be honest. But they could be like a feminine or a masculine. does not really make a difference. But there is a third person between you two. And that's that feels more so like a feminine. Yes, and um, let me see what else do we have. I'm hearing something about cigarette. I just heard that. Yes, and really dark hair. I see that too. Someone's face is really angular. Like you can see. I mean, the, sh- uh, the features of their face are quite sharp. Like, you can see the jawline, you can see the chin being so pointy, or like, it's it's just too sharp, you know? And I see somebody wearing something on their wrist. Kind of like a bracelet. Um... Somebody likes to wear that. I also see a headband. 
let's see what else i mean don't trust your feeling trust yourself in the situation trust your gut and if you don't know like if you don't know anything i would say for some of you it could be that you're not at all aware of what this person feels and like things about you that could be the case this person has a lot of masks which might seem to be like you cannot trust them i don't even know if you can trust this person though um because they have so many masks you don't even know the real truth about this person and i don't even know why this person has always been oh okay yeah let me see this person has got a very very close friend there's somebody they always listen to there's somebody they always go to for advice or maybe you you do you have a person in your life who's really close to you this person knows all about you it could be that yes i'm also hearing for some of you i don't know if you you do um trust your intuition or not and if your intuition is unblocked and like you are able to pick up all things but i am sensing there is an individual who has chosen this pile and your guides are trying to communicate with you like directly they're trying to do that they are communicating with you they are trying to but it's almost like you are not you're being stubborn you're being defensive or you're being either you're just not able to pick up on it or you are being you're just not accepting the message you're discarding it saying that it's untrue it's not um it's not what you think it is like you're probably deeming your, your intuition as your mere thoughts there is some something going on yeah it's almost like whatever your guides are trying to let you know that's the truth i mean obviously it is um yeah i'm also hearing this person is also speaking with someone just like how your guides or the person that you are there could be someone literally that you're really close to and you are things you are discussing matters with this person for some of you but if that's not the case then this is your guide as i said i think the your guide is in the picture even if you realize or not but for this person they're also speaking with someone about you yes there is a person that they're talking to and this person is thinking of taking taking an action or doing something to get out of this situation because this situation seems to go nowhere we have the teacher which is the higher fund and on top of it we have seven of discs which is the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is a really exhaustive energy and i can already feel the heaviness in this person's heart and the fact that we have the heart fund like backing it up it makes it even worse for the situation and for this person to deal with this person wants to express don't get me wrong but it's almost like as i said someone's name could start with s first name or last name i got that too you know what i am not if you've chosen this pile i think you would be aware of this person even if you are not intuitive even if you don't consider yourself to be like psychic or like intuitive or any of those things you would somehow have an inclination of this person having some feelings for you if you're not aware of the entire thing and the reason why i say that is because my guides are telling me that whoever is whoever has chosen this pile you are being flooded and when i say flooded it's literally crazy and it's so insane because you are having loads and loads of signs everywhere and that you go like anything you look at is trying to tell you something about this person and i'm not saying that your life is revolving around this person or anything like that but it's just that this person's energy is so strong that your guides or the universe wants to hammer this um message you know literally they want you to get it and especially if you are not able to receive it 
definitely. For some reason, this Five of Cups is really drawing me in. And usually, um, how a typical or how a traditional Five of Cups is that you see these four cups and the blood is pouring out of these four cups. Like they're spilling out blood. And then we have this one cup at the top, which is in the center. But it's so weird because I... I've, I've always been familiar with Five Cups, um, especially in the right of weight in the like traditional tarot decks. It's always the three cups that are spilled and like that are, um, you know, down on the floor. And the two cups are in the background. They're upright. But this time we only have one cup upright. I feel like there's only one person in this situation, which is, um, this could be a one-sided thing for some of you maybe you're not into this person just as much as they are i was hearing someone's feeling have you lately started to feel um i'm hearing something about nauseous like being nauseous or like feeling something heavy like I don't know. Your body is also trying to tell you something for some of you. It's going to be different. I'm not saying that everybody is going to feel nauseous or something. You might have a slight headache or you might have a weird feeling. Yeah, that's that. Someone's, someone could also have Aquarius somewhere prominently placed. Yes. I'm hearing someone, someone's name also starts with R, but it's not you guys. Like, it's somebody else that you're connected with, a friend, someone else, you know, and their name starts with R. It could be a mutual friend. It could be someone you also know. This person also knows you both are in, like, you both have been in connection with this person Maybe not currently, but you both do know that person. I don't know why are they bringing this person up, but there is somebody. First name or last name could start with R. Yes. Even if you're not aware of this person's intentions, the friends, their friends and the people that are really close to this person are fully aware of it. This person could not hide it could not and the fact that they've hidden it from you could only be logical and could only make sense if this person is not in contact with you yes i'm being so carried away by this reading i yeah this is like i did not even realize it's like already 22 minutes in so i'm going to finish off this file right here if you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the option number second these are all of the cards that i got for you i have queen of pentacles then we have the chariot five of cups then we have the lovers two of pentacles then we have nine of wands um the seven of pentacles and the three of swords at last so we have um those are the cards that we have and i have a couple of cards of camera as usual and we're going to dive into who is the person that is falling in love with you or the person that is um, very deep in their feelings for you. So we're going to figure out what are their intentions, what is on this person's mind and what's going on between the two. So let's see what do we have for this topic. Someone could be an Aquarius right off the bat. I'm sensing someone has fine hair fine but long it's like really long but it's fine that's why i'm hearing um and someone just recently went to a place which is really famous for junk food yeah that's kind of what i'm hearing like 
I'm hearing something about a place. Yeah. I'm hearing you stop by at this place like several times a week or like a month. So it's not that big of a deal. That's that's what I'm hearing. Something about this place though or something about this. Maybe you just need to hear it. Someone's sun sign could be in Aquarius or it could be in in any sort of like air sign which would be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yes. Okay, I I see someone's someone has lost a lot of weight. Something about that, or someone's quite slim. It could be that too. Yes. I'm hearing the word regret. Someone's regretting something, and whatever this person is regretting, they're trying to move themselves away from it because it's really being painful. Oh. I got that. This person is realizing how extraordinary you are or how special you are. It's almost like you are you're becoming more and more special to this person as the time is passing by. So I don't know what are they realizing about you, but they're just realizing something about you that either they do not have or they have never encountered anybody with. Something of that kind. They're just realizing how special you are. You know, it's usually your guides or like the universe doing it. You know, um, they make a person realize if, especially if somebody has wronged us or anything of that kind, even if this person has not. But they're realizing as the time is passing by that you are so incredible. Like, there's something really incredible about you. Um, yeah someone's eyes something about your eyes they can never look into your eyes something about that too they can never meet your eyes yes i'm just loving the readings today because they're just flowing you know the messages especially with this one it's so open and like Oh my goodness, I cannot, like my guides are literally making everything so crystal clear and I just love it when this happens. Something about a yellow flower I'm hearing. Someone's name could start with S. I'm getting that too. And... Something about someone's smile. This person remembers your face when you smiled or like when you used to smile. And they miss that. They miss your smile. They miss they miss your presence in their life. Yes, you were something else for this person. And you are something else for this person currently. Because they're realizing how incredible you are. As the time is passing by, I cannot stress this enough. And I'm hearing someone's name could also start with B. I'm also hearing um, J. And I'm also I also heard the word jaded. No. It's almost like this person realizes how, like how amazing you are as a person now that things are kind of things are already ruined or things are already still i'm hearing that's why that's what this entire scenario seems to be about and Okay, that's that. And let's see if there's something else. Something about the number eight. Yes, you are really amazing. I see it. 
there's somebody in this pile who is really they have a really lively and bubbly persona like i just love this energy you're such a fun loving person heartwarming to see and also at the same time quite optimistic and not complaining you find happiness in small things and small things do make you happy something about that you did feel a connection with this person you did at a certain point it's so ironic we have the lovers and we also do have we don't have the two of cups but we have two of pentacles you know these two skulls looking at each other you know right next to the nine of wands um besides the nine of wands it's so like it reminds me of the two of cups for some reason i feel like it was mutual it probably still is yeah i'm hearing you don't have to be worried about anything it's not your turn to be worried you don't have to be stressed or worried or anything of that kind someone could also have um strong earth placements Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yes. I'm hearing this person was a fool. Or they acted like one. Or they think they acted like one. Foolish, I'm hearing. Now this person's not. Now they're mature. Now, it's not that they're mature. It's, it's almost like this person knows things that they did not know before. If they know what is valuable and what is precious and what's not, they can tell the difference now. Yes. But I want to say one thing. If you've chosen this pile, you do not deserve this person. You deserve someone, someone so much better. Like, not this person. Because, I mean, I'm no, no one to say. Because come on it's your life but i think this is just not right treatment i mean i can see in the cards the person that you're going to meet although the reading is not about that but and that's what's coming up too this person feels that it's almost like this when you're probably with this person because we have five of cups we have three of swords we have nine of wands we have the chariot and the seven of pentacles also and even the two of pentacles there is clearly no positive card and i hate to i hate being like this but we have the lovers which is positive in itself queen of pentacles cool but what about all of the others and the thing is it's almost like someone was in like Someone was really disappointed, really depressed or heartbroken at a certain point. And now it's all like, it's almost like if you were on the downside before, now you're coming to the upside. It's almost like the wheel of fortune is turning for you and you, what is down must come up. And that's the case. And if that is the case, then you are, oh my goodness, I did not even realize we have the queen of pentacles and she's climbing up the ladder do you see in the very first card so it's almost like you are going up and for this person things are going downhill now this is for those of you who are feeling heartbroken like who have felt heartbroken in this connection and something happened and like it was messy it was chaotic and all of that if that is not the case, then then let's see what do we have. Something about a caterpillar. I see that. I'm also hearing this person cannot be fully trusted for some reason. Because I hear something like this person... Um, I heard the word conspiracy. So I'm not going to like go in circles about it. But yeah, it does not give off a good feeling. And it's not that this person knows things now. You also do. 
you also learned your lesson you did and you are you have walked away from it already this five of cups card i just don't like it i mean five of cups is not a great card to have especially in a love reading but paired up with the three of swords it's like it's so it's a deadly combination it's it's really really brutal i'm going to be honest and i'm hearing someone was left confused someone was left maybe you still are confused or this person is but there's somebody who's confused or what's going on i'm hearing this person is taking the blame on themselves yeah this person is taking the blame for all that which happened they accept it finally they do you both are quite different completely different individuals i'm no wonder it like things didn't work out it's not just i think you also did not get enough time with this person or like maybe there was like miscommunication or there was something else also playing alongside um this connection something that affected this person's mindset it could be that yeah somebody could also be a virgo virgo in one of your um one of the prominent places of your birth chart i mean someone was too innocent or too naive or like yeah to trust the situation someone is also obsessed with the color red or black it's either of the two yes and i'm hearing that someone is obsessed with gold jewelry even for some of you and this person is um i'm hearing someone's fond of singing or like they have a really beautiful voice like they they can sing Yeah. I'm hearing this person has decided not to bother you for some of you. And that's the case. Th- this is what this person has decided. This person feels like they would never be able to reach you for some reason they were no oh this person is trying to come close to you though they're trying to do that but they feel like they would never be able to connect with you again if they ruined their chance and they would never be able to do that yes it's like you're so far away from this person now this could talk about like literal distance or this could just simply talk about like the emotional distance between you two but there are a lot of feelings here i have to be honest cuz i see like there are lots of cups so definitely i'm also hearing someone feels rejected or disrespected someone was disrespected or someone was rejected or someone was mistreated it's either of the three or somebody feels that way right now okay this person intends to meet you they do and their intention is quite strong although this person is quite 
um, it's almost like their entire being is coated with regret right now. But regardless of that, this person is, regardless of their acceptance of their, like it's their own blame and all the things that they realize, this person still wants to meet you. I'm hearing that's precisely why they want to meet you. Someone's name could also start with T. I'm being reminded of a particular scene from the TV show um, How I Met Your Mother. It's it's where um, I believe it's Ted who says something to this random girl. I don't even know the name of this person, but um, he explains to her why he does all of those things for Robin. And that's the same scene I'm being reminded of, you know. Something about that. It's almost like this person could be foolish. They could have done really bad things, but it does not change the fact how this person is feeling right now. Regardless of what this person does or not, you are doing amazing and you will continue to do so. That's what I see. This person also knows that you're doing good. For some reason, they do know that. This person sees you on a pedestal now. And um, it's almost like they're realizing your worth, your true worth. And what you are capable of. Yes. And I don't want to demean anyone, but it's almost like they're kind of seeing themselves in a low light. If, I mean, they kind of have, you know, when people, I don't know, they are not liking what they've done and they kind of have lost respect for themselves or like, they cannot seem to forgive themselves for what they've done or something like that. I don't know what's going on here though. But there's a lot of regret. That's why I'm hearing. And... Okay, let me see if there's something else. This person also wants to give you something. Yeah. They really want to... They really want to go back in time. This person thinks about it a lot. A lot. And they want to... They wish to change things. They wish to change themselves. They have changed themselves. This person is changed. They have. And if only they could get another chance, which they feel is, and they would do things differently. And I'm hearing someone's heart is aching for some of you. It does not have to be you, it could also be a person. But I literally feel like. I don't know. I, I literally feel it in my body. That's why I said it. Um, so it was hard. And... Let me see if there's something about a dream you had. This person had a dream about you. It... The dream made things even more intense for this person that's why i'm hearing the way you appeared in the dream the things you said in the dream and yeah i'm hearing gemini somebody could be a gemini and i don't know if this person's crying but i mean i see their face being so I can sense so much pain on this person's face, like it's visible. Someone's name could start with D, someone's name could also start with T and P. 
first name or last name yes that's that and i think i'm going to uh, finish off this part right here if you liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time